If women can't see it, they can't be it. And so what we need to put in front of them are strong role models. The Junior League of Greenwich and the YWCA hosted a screening of misrepresentation at Bowtie Cinema on Tuesday evening. It's important for everyone to have a voice, and I think that's gender neutral, but women have been underrepresented, and I believe that this documentary shows that pretty clearly. The documentary exposes how mainstream media contributes to the underrepresentation of women in positions of power and influence in America. And this representation is about challenging stereotypes on women and adding women's voices to the ongoing conversation around discrimination and projection and some of those areas. The film also offered facts and statistics that left the audience armed with a new perspective. We make up 48 percent of the workforce in this country, 51 percent of the population. We uh, have are graduating at higher rates than ever before. Women vote at higher rates than men do. It is a time that we need to step forward and put our voice forward and, and have the media understand that this kind of representation is totally unacceptable for the role modeling that it presents to our young women. After the screening, State Representative Livy Florin and Teresa Younger participated in a discussion with members of the Junior League and the YWCA. Look around you for opportunities to encourage women. Maybe it's on the Board of Education, Board of Estimate, Representative Town Meeting, a leader of the not-for-profit. These are the kinds of experiences that will stand any political leader or any leader all. What's most important is that you know yourself and that you be true to yourself. And I think the other thing we have to be, we have to know about ourselves is to not judge other women and how they are going about it because I think that's more detrimental. For more information about the documentary, visit misrepresentation.org. In Greenwich, Quadruba Crawfee, it's relevant.com.